What's up guys, I'm Miko of Cam Crunch, and in today's Lightroom video, we are going to be looking at the effects uh, panel in the develop module of Lightroom. And in the effects panel, you have your post crop vignette and you have your grain. So let's look at that one by one. Now your post crop vignette is basically a vignette that you add after you crop your image. Uh, this is to ensure that the vignette affects all of the corners of the image, all of the sides of the image, because when you crop an image and you don't do a post crop vignette image, uh, a post crop vignette, then it will add the vignette to the, the whole image as it was before you cropped. Therefore, some sides might not have a, a vignette on it. And in fact, if you crop in to the image, cutting out all the sides, then you might not even have a vignette because the vignette would have been in the cropped area. So you want to do the post crop vignette if you want them on all the sides. You can also do highlight priority, color priority, um, and paint priority, but I always do highlight priority. So here you have your amount, your midpoint, uh, your roundness, your feather, and your highlights. And let's go through this one by one. So the amount is pretty self-explanatory. You can make it darker, which will make the vignette darker, or you can make it lighter, which will make a white vignette. So you usually go downwards. You have the vignette there. The midpoint stretches the vignette out. Here I'm increasing the midpoint, therefore pushing the vignette out. But if I pull it in, you can see that it's bringing the vignette into the image. So we'll keep that around here. Roundness. Um, sort of makes it more free-flowing if you increase it and then if you decrease it it's going to make it you know more um, more straight basically if you if you uh, if you decrease it it makes it less round and then feather just uh, softens the edges and makes them more obvious or hardens the edges like this so you want that to be soft as well and that's typically you know the, the way I make the vignette uh, I either stretch the midpoint out or bring it to the center depending on the image, but the amount always goes lower. The roundness I always increase and then the feather I always increase. Then there's also the highlights which compensates for, you know, the highlights in your image, but you typically don't need to touch the highlights. You just need to touch the amount, the midpoint, the roundness, and the feather. Then there's grain. So film has been coming back these days or at least the film look and one part of the film look that people like is the green so let's add some green to this image so i've zoomed in and usually i put around 25 green and that usually does the job just fine you can see it adds texture to the face adds just more dimension to the image sometimes you can increase it to 30 that's pushing it sometimes and the size and roundness i just keep that the same the size Obviously, the size of the grains, you increase it, the grains will be bigger. And then the roundness uh, changes the way the grain looks. But I usually keep that to 25 and 50. And then the only thing that I change is the amount. And that can These two things can really dramatically change the, uh, the way your image looks. For example, if I remove the vignette and I remove the grain, it looks a lot different. I add the vignette. Gets dark around the images, more focus, add the grain, it adds more grit, more texture, and makes the image feel more alive. So you can really use these to your advantage uh, to create a nice looking image. You can do that in black and white or on color. I particularly like black and white for this particular image. So that's it guys, that is how you use the effects panel in Adobe Lightroom. Again, if you want to learn more about Lightroom, go to campcrunch.com slash Lightroom, or we'll have a library of videos that you can use to learn more about how to use Lightroom. I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and I'll see you guys in the next video.